How does Brian Chesky hire? Airbnb has always been our go-to option for all of our travel plans. The best services provided by Airbnb are backed up by thousands of employees who give their best and make it possible every day. In this episode, we will talk about Brian Chetsky's methods to sustain employees and maintain a global brand. For more episodes, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for notifications. Brian Chesky is the co-founder and CEO of Airbnb. He determines the company's vision and strategy. In 2007, Brian and Joe Gabia were the first hosts on Airbnb. Brian is a graduate of the Rhode Island School of Design. He imbued Airbnb's culture, products, and community with his creative origins. Unless you can understand the inside of someone's home, you cannot understand their hearts. And if we are all one family that shares our homes with one another, we can get to know each other and bring each other together in a peaceful unity that doesn't have borders, that doesn't discriminate against one another. We can get to know each other intimately and understand our collective narrative is a narrative for everyone and that we all can belong in a world together without borders. This design-driven approach has allowed a system of trust. Brian has signed the giving pledge and pledged to donate the net earning of his CEO remuneration to the community philanthropic and charitable initiatives. Brian is a San Francisco-based Airbnb experience host from Niskayuna, New York. Introduction of Brian Chesky and his unique hiring method. He says, we think each interview process is as much about the experience as the conclusion or destination. One way he strives to enhance the applicant's journey continuously is through storyboarding. Their core value, every frame matters is a testimonial of storyboard importance. Their founders engaged an artist to assist them in visualizing the host and guest experiences on Airbnb. They value these frames to consider how they might simplify, streamline, and enhance the experiences. They apply this strategy to the interview process and they are sharing these frames because they symbolize how they think about recruiting. Each frame is significant and distinct on its own, but when it's seen as a whole, they form a holistic image that is more than the sum of its parts. They share some of the experiences from the front lines. They also discuss the changes they are making to their recruiting process and introduce you to some fantastic recruiters in San Francisco, Portland, Singapore, and Dublin. So our first employee was our first engineer, and I think we looked for him for four or five months, and I probably interviewed, I probably looked through thousands of people and interviewed hundreds of people. What does Brian Chesky look in candidates? Could you describe your whole life in three minutes or less? This is not the simplest question to answer, but Airbnb CEO Brian Chesky said he loves asking it during a job interview. This question, a variation of the conventional tell me about yourself interviews question, allows you to showcase your personal and professional accomplishments. In 2014 interview with the New York Times, Chesky stated, I am attempting to determine the formative choices and events that shaped your personality. Chesky listens for the candidate's most significant accomplishments to date as they provide a summary of their lives. 
Chesky said, I am attempting to comprehend the two or three most spectacular things you have ever accomplished. Because if you haven't accomplished anything worthy in your life to this point, you probably will never. Your answer should indicate that you possess the characteristics desired by the recruiting manager. In the instance of Chesky, he said that he is looking for a candidate who is a dreamer and a big thinker. What is it like to work for Brian Chesky? Airbnb workers work on an average of 9.3 hours per day. Airbnb employees believe that the work pace is pleasantly rapid. Airbnb employees have four or more meetings per day on average. 85% of Airbnb workers look forward to daily interactions with our colleagues. The average Airbnb employee takes 15 to 20 paid vacation and sick days each year. 67% of Airbnb workers express satisfaction with their work-life balance. Once a month, Airbnb workers often get constructive comments on how to improve their performance. 83% of Airbnb workers see their workplace as good. How does Airbnb motivate its employees? A motivating element behind employee experience at Airbnb is the belief that staff engagement results in a better work environment and higher customer happiness. Active and satisfied personnel facilitate the engagement and satisfaction of consumers. Airbnb continually considers what its workers need to grow and succeed and solicit their opinion to provide an environment that promotes their success. Be authentic. Airbnb's ambition to create a world where everyone feels like they belong is the motivating factor behind all its endeavors. An overall purpose or mission aids decision-making and guides individuals to make the best choices. So we have six core values. Um, I'll maybe talk about three of them. Okay. So our first core value we talk about is champion the mission. And what it really means is that we want to hire people that are here for our mission. We don't want people here because they think we've got a great valuation, they like our office design, they need a job, or they think it's hot. We want people to be here for the one thing that will never change, and that's our mission. According to Mark Levy, Airbnb Global Head of Employee Experience, a generally exceptional employee experience is driven from the top and begins with a leadership team's passion and goals. The founders and management establish the culture and mission, which permeates every part of the experience, continually evolve. A purpose-driven employee experience does not guarantee that every endeavor will be successful. To provide an exceptional employee experience, it is also necessary to evolve and adapt to the changing demands of workers. Airbnb offers a novel workplace environment called Belong Anywhere, where workers do not have desks or offices, but rather landing points where they can charge their laptops and store their stuff. By making the modest adjustment, things have run much more smoothly, and employees are satisfied with their work conditions. Being receptive to proposals and criticism should be an ongoing aspect of the work experience, not only during the development process. How does Airbnb reward its employees? Financial reward and retirement planning. Airbnb offers 401k programs and matches a portion of each employee's contribution to assist workers in attaining long-term financial stability. Additionally, employees have access to stock purchase and equity incentive schemes. Airbnb also provides performance initiatives and charity donation matching. These assist in motivating staff motivation and engagement. Also, Airbnb staff are entitled to discounts at various stores and eateries. Ample paid time off. Three to four weeks of paid time off PTO, including sick days, are included in the Airbnb employee benefit package. However, the yearly PTO varies depending on the employee's length of service. According to staff, those less than one year of service with Airbnb 
earn 20 days of paid vacation and sick leave every year. Those who have worked for the firm for over two years are eligible up to 30 days to vacation time. Additionally, the corporation gives allowance for the following. Bereavement leave, volunteer time off with pay for the organization of their choosing, sabbatical time, innovative offices. Before the COVID-19 pandemic, Airbnb was renowned for its creative and imaginative workplace spaces. However, the pandemic disrupted the tourism sector to such a degree that Airbnb and many other businesses were forced to reduce their worldwide office presence. Today, they continue to concentrate on their San Francisco headquarters. They provide benefits that make the workday effective and enjoyable. Free gourmet breakfasts. For example, free gourmet breakfasts, lunches, and dinners are provided five days a week and beverages and snacks are accessible around the clock. Additionally, Airbnb provides company-sponsored tech presentations, happy hours, access to Apple equipment, on-site fitness classes, gender-neutral toilets, and a pet-friendly workplace. The Airbnb is not about spaces. And it's very easy to come to our website and you see a couple million spaces, but it's really more about the people. And our mission is to provide this feeling, not of space, but belonging. And we belong at home, we belong at our work sometimes, but we want you to be able to belong anywhere in the world in 34,000 cities. What are Airbnb employee benefits? Travel stipend. $2,000 yearly travel stipend is one of Airbnb's most valuable staff perks. It allows workers to stay at an Airbnb listing around the globe and is paid out quarterly. This allows workers to use the product and interact with the local community. Additionally, it pushes them to maximize their paid vacation time. Plans for comprehensive healthcare. The healthcare plans offered by Airbnb include medical, vision, dental, life, and disability coverage. These costs are paid 100% and up to 70% to their families. Additionally, they provide treatment for mental health via employee health programs and online mental health consultations. In addition, Airbnb provides workers' compensation and health saving accounts. They also do generous family and parental leave. In addition to working from home with reduced flexible hours, Airbnb provides workers with various choices for family leave. This includes family medical, maternity, and paternity leave. They provide up to 10 weeks of parental leave to allow new parents to connect with our infants. Then they provide a 12-week phased return to work in which parents may work 80% of the week while getting full compensation. Opportunities for education and growth. Airbnb provides career development and technical skills training to its employees. The company's data university, which aims to boost workers' data literacy, is perhaps one of the most helpful professional development program out there. Every team from human resources to business development receives training in data-driven decision-making. Non-technical staff may enroll in SQL and superset courses to enhance their skills and become project managers in the company. Intensive Python and machine learning training provide developers with the advanced abilities required for Airbnb projects. I had some conviction that this would work. The weekend we started, I had conviction it would work around the country, Airbeds for conferences. I was always like a generation ahead. I was never three generations ahead. I didn't think like years out, but I always thought like the next year out. And I could always see the next step. I couldn't see three steps forward. And so I believed in the next step. So that first weekend I believed this would work around the country. But I, Joe and I convinced ourselves out of the idea because we were so enamored by the story of Facebook and all these other companies. We thought they're huge. I can see the next step, but I can't see people all over the world doing this. I can't see becoming a co like a company where millions of people would use, and I want to have a company millions of people use. And millions of people need roommates, but millions of people when they travel don't stay in homes. And so that was kind of where I went to. So it wasn't as much I lost conviction as much as I had the wrong mental model to decide what to pursue. 
but I deeply believe in this idea. What's Airbnb unique culture? Making customers feel at home is important to Airbnb's culture. In a welcoming society, individuals feel included and appreciated to have strong feeling of belonging and are willing to welcome others. Society for Human Resources Management's 2016 Work Happiness and Engagement study revealed that employees desire to feel valued and involved. Respectful treatment of all employees is the leading factor in total employee job satisfaction. When they visit new businesses, they often promote their inclusion and diversity initiatives. However, is the degree to which these endeavors have manifested in daily behaviors of accepting people regardless of color, sex, age, professional, or rank. Airbnb's efforts to cultivate a friendly and inclusive atmosphere are not limited to a single project or initiative. Facilitating a sense of belonging is a component of the whole employee experience, from recruitment and, and onboarding through citizenship, physical facilities, and cuisine. The HR department at Airbnb was recently de redesigned with this objective in mind. Mark Slevy's appointment as global head of employee experience changed the HR department into a center for the company's workplace as an experience strategy. Additionally, Airbnb leveraged the workplace intranet to foster an inclusive atmosphere. Through the internet, employees are notified about employee birthdays and anniversaries. Additionally, each employee has access to their website, which is intended to enhance internal networking. The organization attempts to bring individuals from different locations together, whether online or in person. Airbnb also promotes an all-company conference. One Airbnb was conducted in San Francisco, bringing together all workers. Airbnb seems to assure that its staff are well cared for. They will provide excellent customer service to their clients. How Airbnb became the finest workplace in the world. The success of Airbnb culture was founded on three pillars. Cultivating a welcoming atmosphere, inspiring a cause greater than ourselves, developing trust and autonomy. Concerning the Airbnb teaching, one may argue that these notions are not novel. Companies have adopted measures to welcome, motivate, and empower workers for decades. Airbnb has not, nevertheless, only launched a few ventures, rather than it altered the whole viewpoint. The whole vision is defined by seeing HR's objectives from the employee's perspective and using a broader knowledge of people's motivations. That's all for today's episode. Links to everything will be in the description below. If you like our content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. This will notify you about our new content that we share with you every week. This will help us to produce great content for our professional audience. Let us know if there's something you would like us to discuss in future episodes. Please click the link in the show notes and you can address your questions directly to me. Thank you for listening and I will see you next week.